In this video, let's look at how the switch master election happens and how you can manipulate the, the master and the member switches. I have a setup now. Here. So, so switches, so switch. Okay, here it is. So I have uh, this switch one. This is a master and this one is the member no switch number two right if you look at the priority one and nine okay so let's look at the cisco website how this the mass election happens here it is stack master election so there's a sequence so when there's a election happen it look at things in a sequence and decide which switch should become as a master right now here the switch that is currently the stack master right that will be the master until you restart the switch say uh, when stacks merge the elected stack master would have been the master of one of the merged stack right so say you have two switch in a stack that stack is uh, up and running you bring in another two switches and join them to the stack even though you set the priority for those switches high they will not become as a master until the entire switch stack reboots that's what it means so when stack partition the stack master of the original stack will be the master of its partition so at the same time, if you have a four switch in a stack and then you remove two switch out of the stack, the switch master never changes until you reboot that stack. That's what it means. The switch with the highest stack member priority. Normally we control uh, the, the master by using the, the priority value. So let's look at here. This switch is my bottom switch this switch is the top switch so i want to keep this switch as my master so what i have to do is i am going to set the priority of that first switch higher than this one so let's do this way set this the maximum priority the first one right so that always be the master turn t switch one priority okay it can go from 1 to 50 50 right changing the switch priority of switch number 1 to 15 confirm all right and then i do uh, switch 2 priority let's do that 14 so just keep an eye on the mac address so i am setting the priority 7a00 to 15 so that will become as a master so this will happen when the entire switch stack reboots until then there will not be no change let's uh, end Right mem so switch now it changed here but um, this will take effect while the next reboot happens okay let's look at the document a little further okay so this is what I was talking about uh, and it says you know re-election occurs when the switch stack reboots the Cisco recommend that you assign the highest priority value to the switch that you prefer to be the stack master. That's what I did. This ensures that the switch is re-elected as stack master if a re-election occurs. So normally if you have a five switch on a stack, uh, make sure you keep the first switch, the top switch as a master. So you know which switch is the master. Normally the first switch has to be the master. Um, that's the convention we normally do. All right, so and then the switch that uses the non-default interface level configuration. So what I mean is 
say if you are bringing a new switch that will have the default interface level configuration because the interface will not have any configuration there it will be a blank switch whatever the switch has a configuration already that will be that will become as a master so think about this way so you are bringing a new switch in a like a like a one switch uh, standalone switch and joining the second switch to the stack and when you reboot the new switch will not become as a master unless you set the priority because it has a default interface level configuration and then the switch with the highest hardware uh, software priority say you know if a switch has a cryptic ip service image that will become as um, the master in that case also this uh, paragraph what it says is the switches reboot within 20 second time frame participate in the stack master election um, that's why uh, one trick you can do is you can reboot the switch that you wanted to be as a master first and you can reboot other switches after 20 second then those switches will not participate in the election and become as a master the other one the switch with the longest uh, system uptime the, that that's you know reasonable to become as a master right the seniority come into play and the switch with the lowest mac address if you look at here the switch with the the lowest MAC address, so you look at the MAC address here and decide which one is the lowest, become as a master. Uh, so this is how uh, the master election happens. So let's um, look at and reboot my stack. So let's do it for fun um, because there's going to be no change here when I do the election, uh, re-election. So let's T and I'm going to do it other way around. I want this switch, the member need to become as a master. So I, I do the, the reverse. So I go to here, switch to priority 15, confirm. So So now if you see both are in the same priority, it's not supposed to be. So you might have noticed, do show switch, because if you are in a configuration mode, you have to do do uh, to do the regular commands here. Otherwise, if it's, uh, you know, in a privilege mode, you can't do uh, the show command without the do. Switch one priority 40 confirm now I do here so now you see the member 15 highest priority should become as a master now so and right mem and reload confirm all right Okay, now the stack is rebooting. Okay, if you look at here, waiting for master ready. Switch one, booting as member. I told you here, election complete. Switch one, booting as a member. And switch two, elected as a master. So that's why we set the priority other way around. Compatibility, okay, now everything rebooted. Okay, enable, so switch, okay, you look at here, switch two is the master, right? Switch one becoming as a member. But it, this will not 
change switch one or two will not change if that changes uh, you have to ch if you want to change this one you have to go and change the slot number uh, probably I will cover that in another video because if you change the slot number the interface number is going to change what I mean is show in status if you change the switch number FA101 has to change say if you change this one a master to switch one because you if you want that here you have to change the slot number so it will become as 101 instead of 201 but the thing is show show flash show flash right so you can see it will uh, show you the flash of the the master right but you can look at the the flash uh, by slot right so so flash so if you want to look at uh, the flash of each slot in your uh, stack show FLA okay if you see here flash 1 uh, flash 2 so what you have to uh, do is show flash 1 right so you can see the flash 1 this is the the switch 1 show flash 2 right this is uh, the flash 2 of the configuration right so you can see these numbers are totally different things here and that's the same way you can upgrade the image um, of the separate slot uh, using these the flash numbers uh, all right so hope uh, this helps uh, with your you know day-to-day -day activity as a network administrator so please do subscribe and like and also don't forget to comment and let me know what topic you want me to cover uh, so i will uh, look for your comments guys all right thanks bye